Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another model video reviewing a small affordable airbrush air compressor setup. A couple of years ago we reviewed the TC100 Royal Max 12 volt compressor which I also sell in the uh, Holt Salt Mine hobby shops. Since the review, which has been my biggest grossing and most successful uh, video, the compressor still goes strong and I take it out to shows and whatnot, selling many of them. Not a single complaint yet. And referring to what happened in the video with the review, it does take 0.5 needles very, very well and has an excellent volume if you manage your uh, air well enough, turning it off regularly, it will also not thermo out. With a much bigger box, we have a 2019 model, that's the AS200. Styrofoam configuration is used to hold the cables, hoses and the airbrush together, quite well protected. The instructions are in English, I imagine from each continent it is printed differently as well as the attachment of the power plug. On the flip side, we have our standard 0.3mm Hyacinth airbrush, which we know very well. Exact same specs of a variable power supply, 12 volts in, as well as about 10 litres of air coming out per minute. I'm guessing that would uh, still translate to a max of 15 psi and around 11 working strength. A bit of um, a safety note of unplugging power. With a compliant power plug, this is far more easily gotten and available for uh, export and already available within my country. This plugs right in top on this hole. Suitable button for pushing on and off. What I have never seen before, and not too sure if I like or not, but is definitely neat, instead of our 1 8 inch thread, we've got a standard quick release and quick release mounted straight to the hose. If anything was to happen to this hose, you can just buy a standard quick release and another hose to attach on, which would be two expenditures. So it is replaceable, but you do have a custom um, hose that is about a foot, if not a little longer. Clicks right into place. And if you want to undo it, you just pull back and it pops off. Plugged in. The noise is just about as loud as the previous one. All compressors do have a bit of a noise, though it is not as overbearing or loud as the larger piston counterparts. It can be used indoors without uh, disturbing or offending the family. All standard airbrushes, including your Iwata's, Hisings and whatnot screws with the standard 1 8 inch fitting. I do highly suggest you add one of these post filters around here, which should not interfere with the stand. We have a piece of paper, a little paint in the cup, and my favourite airbrush. I seriously cannot tell the difference between the use of this airbrush or this compressor with the King Max T300 or 100 sorry I don't know if this one's a little better or not but the black compressors almost all do look the same and they perform as well as each other most likely to a standardized motor being used on the inside but definitely there is uh, no issues whatsoever coverage and lines even down to the finest detail is all very possible and if we were to color something in all very easy at uh, this time using a point five needle without any issues painting a lot quicker we're not seeing pulses of air it's quite uh, consistent upon closer inspection one of the biggest gripes I do have about this is a lack of a air regulator or a bleed regulator where you can lower the PSI or pressure for particular fine jobs 
this can be overcome by an 1 8 inch regulator coupling that can be bought online for just a few dollars and one of the biggest issues that most will always have about buying these compressors when they're already an established and experienced airbrusher is a lack of a pressure dial of how much PSI output you are putting out again uh, another adapter can be added to the hose to give a small indication of PSI output at this stage we're applying far too many add-ons for the advantage of a large compressor where if you're in the situation of purchasing should do so the use of two three minutes virtually not giving off any heat the larger box probably makes venting so much easier but all that said and done these mini compressors I always highly recommend you do not have as much airflow control as you do with uh, larger regulated tank compressors upgrading this by adding a soft drink bottle and a tea piece or some sort of uh, one liter container will uh, definitely help uh, there is no automatic shut off so it's constantly running which you will uh, be wearing out the button turning it on and off constantly it's a very small pack and easy to store for the casual hobbyist uh, those who are living in poor economic conditions or living off a budget uh, beginners and uh, students alike just because you don't have a larger and more expensive compressor does not mean you can produce amazing work a number of my models has been done with the Royal Max model just to uh, prove a point that uh, elite tools are not necessarily needed but more so the skill the understanding of uh, the technology and customizing around it being portable you can purchase a very small battery online to uh, use it you can also uh, wire it up and hook it up to a larger car battery with the um, appropriate uh, inverter or playing around by cracking it open and bypassing the power supply all of that is very possible uh, all in all if you see this or if you see the uh, Royal Max on eBay your local hobby shop uh, Amazon whatever uh, carrier service like Alibaba or AliExpress from China very worthwhile jumping on buying it and utilizing it even if you have a full rig and you want to paint from another location other than home or a show or a demonstration these models are very reliable everyone I've hooked up with has uh, found very good performance and very good use I found no uh, reports even the more poorer ones I uh, do not like to use uh, have uh, been very successful with uh, no bad reviews and it's just generally something you can uh, safely operate I've also had the question on the Royal Max video that can this be used for X hobby painting golf handles cake decoration makeup the whole lot if you can thin down a medium and apply it through the airbrush of the uh, consistency of uh, milk or water even drafting inks you can run it through this and you can use it for any uh, art or craft application I hope this video was of uh, help and of use in uh, choosing this compressor or another one very similar thank you very much for watching as always until next time stay tuned for further content and if you're located in Australia maybe consider checking out the salt mine uh, hobby shop and acquiring it from that catch you guys next time and stay tuned for further content if you're new to this channel and found this video very useful or helpful, just be aware the McConnerman channel hosts multiple videos on hobby products, scale modeling, and especially a playlist on nothing but airbrushing called Hone Your Airbrush Skills. You will find a vlog where you go through each airbrush I own, dismantling them, doing maintenance, and achieving certain effects to the review of different mediums paints, airbrushes, airbrush systems, as well as accessories such as filters, bleeds, hoses, and whatnot. 
I am very interactive within a 24 hour period on the comment section as well as other social media. Feel free to have a look at the links in the description below for Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr and Pinterest for a portfolio gallery. Again, thank you for watching and hoping to see you around the traps more often. Catch you later.